Hi ladies and gentlemen, Sean Davies of Colorado Rainsman. In here in the round pen, we're going to start getting Loretta ready for her uh, second ride. So I'm actually going to take a step backwards, seeing that her big issue was that she did not want to move forward once I got up on her. So I'm going to prepare her for her next ride a little better. And uh, I've brought Mr. Rocket in. Rocket is my 2011 Extreme Mustang Makeover horse. Real nice little gelding. He's a super sweet guy, and I am going to uh, let him help me with Loretta. I'm going to try to get her hooked on to him a little bit so we can get a little forward out of her. Um, and then I'll probably down the road here, maybe in the next video or so, have uh, Sarah ride Rocket out while I'm on uh, Miss Loretta and see if we can't get her to follow up at a walk trot and maybe even a canter. We'll just see what we can do. But I'm going to. I'm going to work them together a little bit. I'd like to get her hooked on to him. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to check my cinch again. Okay. So I'm going to take the uh, halter off old rocket here and grab my sticks. Now, I'm going to round pin Rocket and Loretta at the same time. So I'm going to ask him to move off. And what I'm hoping is as we move on, she'll start hooking up with him and following him. You never know, she may want to lead. But I'm going to ask him to come off here, get him moving out. And if you notice, she's already hooking up with him. I'm going to pretty much ignore Loretta right now and just concentrate on Rocket. And I love how a plan comes together. She says, I would like to be with him. I'm going to ask him to keep going. He said, boy, that was a lot of pressure. It's going to run out my butt. Going, I'd like you to get out of my way, young lady. Let's go ahead and move it or lose it. Now she finds herself in the lead. She's not real positive. So I'm going to ask Rocky to lead. Now she's a little more confident. Now she's following the camp. She's going to pass him. Uh oh. You better lose it, baby. <laughs> Good and slow now. I'm going to park. She's looking for him. how her herd dynamics is going to work. So now I'm going to pick up Rocket's eye and ask him to come over my way. You see, he hooks on to me, and she's kind of looking, checking that out. I'm going to come up and pet Rocket. I really like what I see there. So I'm going to ask Rocket to head off to my left. And I want her... Yep. I'm going to ignore her. Rocket's so good. I'm only going to concentrate on Rocket. <laughs> he said, get out of the way. I'm going to keep... block her and get her to follow him. Let's get a move. That's what I like to see. She 
he's actually showing signs of being a leader. Good girl. Off and hind in. This horse does not know how to pin her round and round pin. We're working on that. There we go. Good. Switched again. No good. Off of the hind end again. Good. Good. <laughs> I love the way they both come with me, both come with me. That was a beautiful thing. <laughs> so I got good dynamics out of her. She either wanted to lead or she'd at least match his speed. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm up here on Rocket. So what I'm going to do with Rocket today in preparation for uh, Loretta's second ride, I'm probably going to do that at the beginning of the week because... You know, I really see some things that I needed to go back and, and work forward with her. I'm going to try to get her hooked on to him. So I'm basically going to do a little cow work with her. I'm going to herd that horse. I'm going to put some pressure on her. I'm going to get her to hook on. Then I'm going to ask her to follow him up. And I'm going to move him, walk, trot, and canter. So when we move on to the second time I get on her, I'm hoping she's going to hook on to him and we'll get our forward motion. So I'm just going to warm Rocket up a little bit. I'm just going to ask him to make some turns here to the inside while Loretta kind of moves around to the outside. Work in kind of the opposite direction. And start moving him over. Get him closer and closer to the fence. And see if she'll hook on to us. Just like that. And I'm going to turn, get behind her, and push her a little bit. That's the other thing that we'll be able to do. This is something I haven't done with Rocket in a long time. It's going to be as much for him as it is for her. I ask her to change directions here. I ask her to change directions. I'm going to start controlling her feet. I ask her to control her feet, change directions. Push her right there. Good girl. Good girl. Push that <coughs> hip. Get her moving. Change 
corrections on her. Good girl. Boy, I like that change right there. Girl. I'm going to give her a chance to kind of hook up. there so that's a positive thing I'm gonna rub him let her rest with us that's a positive thing right there so when I get him in here and I'm on her back I really want that horse to follow up so I'm gonna ask him to walk off see if she'll come with us oh I'm liking what I'm seeing I'm liking what I'm seeing if she blows us off Kind of blew us off there, so I'm going to push her, stop her feet, move her, bend him, and walk off. We lost her, I'm going to push her again. if she'll follow. Good girl. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. <coughs> See if we can keep her hooked on. Get her to hook right on behind us. Lost it. Now this is going to be like watching paint dry. But we're making big progress with this little horse right now. You'll see in her next ride. to me, right away we're going to peel off. And I want to come off the rail to make sure she's really following us as she is now. Now we're doing it. do with this. Got what I wanted. I'm going to get a lead rope on her and see if I can't pony her a little bit. See if we've got anything out of her. So 
but let's get a lead rope on it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I've done some basically pushing off and retreating off a rocket. Got a lead rope back on Loretta. Got uh, Sarah's husband, Luke, out here. He's going to assist me for a second. So uh, I'm just going to come up here. I'm going to go ahead and take that lead rope. Rocket, you just settle down. All right. Luke, we'll go ahead and step out. Let me just see if I can get Loretta up here. Although I'm not going to dally her up just yet. If I can just get her leading with us, we're going to be fine. I'm going to ask Rocket kind of to leg yield around the arena right now. I'd like to get Loretta just following us up. If I have to, I can just drop the rope and go back to what we're doing. This is real good. I just don't want her getting in a panic and trying to jerk me out of the saddle. So I'm not going to dally her yet because if she flips over the other side, for that next ride. Yes, indeed. 
gauge behind cold is this way. This forward motion. I like that, I like that. Now I'm gonna stop right there, back her up. Good girl. Disengage her hind end right there. Back her up. Bring my green up under rocket there. I'm gonna direct her off to my left. Ask her to walk. Look at that hip. Back her up right there. Back him up. Good girl. Now, there's a lot that you can do off a of horseback. She sees me up higher. She's going to be a little more willing to give to me, to give to pressure. Good girl. This is the calmest that she has been. That's a lot of work. All right, so we're going to call it a day for this preparatory work for her next next ride. I think you're going to see a big, a big good deal next time. None of the uh, excitement of the first one or the standing still and bracing up. That's the thing I hate the most. So the lesson here, and I tell everybody this: horse training. You have to visualize as a horse is in a room with a million doors. My students hear this all the time and get sick of hearing it, but you've heard it on a couple other videos. Every one of those doors has a title on it. Let's say, do for the first ride. Well, I got on her because she kind of told me she was ready. Well. When I got up on her, I found that the door to forward motion was firmly locked and closed. So she reminded me that maybe there was some other work that needed to be done beforehand, that she's not the same horse as my other horses, that, like him. I got on him the ninth day from picking him up wild from Canyon City and walk trot canter both ways. Well, she is not him. And, uh, she's not going to be him. She'll be her. She'll be totally a wonderful horse, just a little different. So I had to get off and go through a different door. And that door was, we had to push her forward. Well, now, instead of going and, and approaching the same doorway of first ride, now I'm going to look at her in a different way. Let's get her forward motion. Let's get her relaxed. Let's get her viewing me from a higher position. Let's get her more relaxed with me up here. I'd like to get her just over here to where she's not going to freak out if I'm up in this area. When she switched 
her left eye and caught me in her right eye is when she blew up. So I'm going to do everything I can to avoid that. I don't want to teach a horse to buck. I want to teach him to ride. Good girl. Good girl. You are a lovely little thing. You are a lovely little thing. You need to calm yourself down, Roger. See, i got to get him back out and desensitize him a lot more so he's not jumpy about stuff. He's doing fantastic, this little horse. And you are being a lovely little lady, aren't you? So I'm going to go through a lot of different doors with this horse, and you should be prepared. Don't get stuck on one thing that's not working and try to pound it into oblivion and be frustrated and cry. Don't worry, I'll cut that out. <laughs> Just be with the horse. Don't be afraid to change things up. You'll still get back to that place where you want to be. I'm so much better with this horse right now. I The best thing this horse ever could have done was reminded me that I can't just rush and push every horse and get the same thing. She's telling me, I'm willing. Just take your time. Be a little patient. Good girl. Good girl. I like this little girl. She's going to be fantastic. We're getting all four feet picked up and clean now. Making great progress. So stay tuned. Loretta's going to really pop along now.